Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday the 14th of October. India calls Canada's allegations against its diplomats preposterous imputations. Pakistan steps up security ahead of SCO meeting. And Bangladesh Information Advisor warns of action against journalists linked to ousted Hasina government. And now for all the details. A day after Canada sent a diplomatic communication suggesting that Indian High Commissioner and other diplomats are persons of interest in an investigation in Canada, New Delhi has termed the diplomatic note as preposterous imputations. In a strong worded statement, New Delhi said the allegation against Indian diplomats is a deliberate strategy of His smearing Excellency India Mr. for political Justin gains. Trudeau. The Prime statement Minister said India Canada. ascribes the acquisition to political agenda of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government Delegation that is centered around vote bank Rizier. politics. Slamming Delegation Canadian PM, India accused Trudeau of Delegation. naked interference in India's internal politics and said his government was dependent on a political party whose leader openly espouses a separatist ideology against India, only aggravating matters. India's foreign ministry added it has also taken cognizance of the activities of the Canadian High Commission in India that serve the political agenda of the current regime. New Delhi further said it now reserves the right to take further steps in response to these latest efforts of the Canadian government to concoct allegations against Indian diplomats. Moving on. The president rule was withdrawn in Jammu and Kashmir on Monday, clearing the way for the formation of a new government in the Union Territory. The National Conference Congress Alliance won the recent Jammu and Kashmir Assembly elections and will form the government. Omar Abdullah, the vice president of the National Conference, has been chosen as the alliance's leader and will serve as the next chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir. The party's president, Farooq Abdullah, has said that the new government's primary goal would be to restore statehood to Jammu and Kashmir. Support from the Congress Party, Independence and the Aam Aadmi Party has paved the way for the National Conference to stake claim to form government in the valley. This will be the first elected government in Jammu and Kashmir since the abrogation of Article 370 and the reorganization of the former state into two union territories. The 90 seats in the region were contested in a three-phase election. देखिए जम्मू कश्मीर लोग के लोगों को तो खुशी है कि प्रेसिडेंट्स रूल खत्म हो गया और यहां डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट जो है हलफ लेने जा रही है आने वाले एक दो दिन में और दूसरी बात यह है कि पांच छह साल से तो जम्मू कश्मीर के लोग दबे हुए थे बैरोक्रेटिक सेटअप के नीचे उससे ज्यादा खुशी है बाहर आने की लेकिन सबसे बड़ी जो जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों की डिमांड है कि रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ स्टेटहुड हो क्योंकि ये जो ये है यूटी है ये एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है एमिट दी ऑन गोइंग फास्ट अंटर डेथ प्रोटेस्ट बाय द जूनियर मेडिक्स इन वेस्ट बंगाल द फेडरेशन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया मेडिकल एसोसिएशन ऑन मंडे कॉल फॉर अ नेशन वाइड शट डाउन ऑफ इलेक्टिव सर्विसेज इन हॉस्पिटल्स फ्रॉम मंडे Doctors are protesting against the rape and murder of a female trainee doctor at the Arshikar Medical College and Hospital. The call has been made to express solidarity with the protest in West Bengal, an official of the body said. The protest follows over 65 days of demonstrations advocating for safer working conditions and highlights the West Bengal government's neglect of doctor currently on an indefinite hunger strike for the past week. Three doctors have been hospitalized after their health condition deteriorated due to fasting. We to that the government is sleeping. Or we have to that the children will die. Yesterday, we had three 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 people who were sick in the ICU. Neither they have to take any knowledge about them. Neither they have to take any step that they have to take any other Moving on, 
Preparations were underway and security was on high alert on Monday in Islamabad as Pakistan geared up to host a summit of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization grouping for October 15 and 16 in the capital city. According to local media reports, more than 10,000 police personnel along with army and paramilitary forces were deployed across the city in a three-layer security arrangement with government also announcing three days holidays for public offices, educational institutions and commercial centres in Islamabad. The SCO comprises nine full members, including China, India, Iran and Russia, with Pakistan currently holding the chair of the regional bloc. For as police is concerned, uh, 7,000 personnel have been deployed by police. And in this case, Pak Army, Rangers, uh, FC, in sab ko agar milaya jaya, to 12,000 total personnel bante hain. The two-day meeting in Islamabad will see participants of Prime Ministers of China, Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan as well as the first Vice President of Iran and Foreign Minister of India. While participating countries are likely to hold bilateral meetings, Pakistan's Foreign Minister Ishak Dar has ruled out any such meeting with S.J. Shankar who is leading the Indian delegation. Talking to reporters, Dar said Islamabad has not received any request for bilateral talks from India, nor Pakistan has made any such request to New Delhi. Jai Shankar's visit is first by any high-ranking Indian leaders in almost a decade, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi visiting Lahore to meet then Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Since then, the relationship between both countries have been largely frozen, since they downgraded diplomatic ties in tit for tat moves in 2019. Bangladesh Information Advisor Nahid Islam this past weekend warned of action against journalists allegedly linked to the deposed Sheikh Hasina administration. Addressing media queries at an event in Dhaka, Islam stated that those affiliated with the fascist government who were involved in instigating and supporting genocide will face justice in the country. This is the second such comment over the criminal charges on journalists by Nahid Islam, who was key coordinator in the protest to oust Hasina. According to local media reports, around 50 journalists have been sued in multiple cases primarily on murder charges filed at different police stations across the country. The press rights body, the Committee to Protect Journalists, has expressed concern over the actions taken against journalists and has urged Bangladesh interim government to ensure that authorities respect the procedural rights of the accused as well as their right to a fair trial. Moving on, India's Gujarat state has made significant strides in healthcare, expanding infrastructure and launching key initiatives in maternal health, immunization and disease control. With 128 mobile health units across 27 districts, the government has been delivering primary care directly to villagers' doorsteps. Take a look. A mobile healthcare unit equipped with life-saving devices and staffed by paramedics, doctors and nurses reaches out to patients in rural parts of Gujarat. With 128 such mobile health units across 27 districts, the Gujarat government under the National Rural Health Mission delivers primary care directly to villagers' doorsteps. This initiative reduces the long journeys villagers previously had to make to access essential medical services. सेवानी आवे से ये मोबाइल यूनिट इन्हें दबा मफत मोड़े से हमने इन्हें लोगों को घना सारा थाई से। Gujarat has ranked first in the good health and well-being category for the second consecutive year, according to Niti Aayog's SDG India Index 2023-24. 
Under Narendra Modi's leadership as chief minister, the state made significant strides in healthcare, expanding infrastructure and launching key initiatives in maternal health, immunization and disease control. Gujarat's healthcare infrastructure has significantly improved with a total of 2647 hospitals. To further enhance healthcare services, the Gujarat government allocated rupees 15182 crores to healthcare in the 2023-24 budget, up from rupees 12240 crores in 2022-23. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.